Hey guys, welcome back to Mighty Crafts. Just finished painting this lumber mill, and uh, I think it looks great. I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy, and enjoy the video. All right guys, we're back. So I finished base coating everything in black, and now we're going to hit it with this dark brown for the wood, but I'm probably gonna add some white into this because this is really dark and I don't want the wood to be that insanely dark. So I'm gonna grab some, add a couple drops of white in there, mix it around. We're gonna start with the wood textures and all we're gonna do, pretty simple, we're painting it on. And the reason I did a base coat of black is it kind of gets all those little nooks and crannies that you miss. And it just kind of hides your mistakes and makes it so you don't have to go into as many uh, tries. So if you miss a spot and it's still pink from the foam or white, then hopefully that spot now will be black instead of just white. So we got the black on, now we have the wood texture on. And now we're gonna hit it with a glossy orange. And you don't wanna go too heavy on this. You wanna do like, take a napkin and kinda of rub it off on the side. But you wanna get like 40% coverage to, I don't know, like 60% coverage I would say. So we're just gonna apply this everywhere. and uh, make this thing look good. So what I'm thinking for the roof is I have this dark crimson web kind of look, or dark maroon, and I kind of want to make the roof red, but I've already done that before as well, so I'm going to add some orange in it, and we'll see what color we get here. Uh, you know, whoever made this shack wanted it to be really dark red on the roof, so he took the time to grab some paint and make it all red. Who knows? Kind of build in your little stories by doing that, so. I'm just gonna make this whole side red. And then. Now that I have all the wood texture and wood painted with orange. I'm going to flip over and start painting the stone on the side. And we're going to use a gray with a white mix. And we're just going to dabble it on there. We'll do a lot more like detailing work and all that. But for now, we're just gonna hit this with a nice coating of gray. Try not to get these wood pillars too messy, but they're gonna get messy on the backside. So you have to come over here and probably clean them up. So you can do the gray first if you want to make sure that you don't really mess up with the wood texture. With some white to kind of bring out some of the detailing and the stonework. And, uh, and it's gonna look a little bit, you know, bright, but that's not gonna be a problem because we're gonna hit it with a wash afterwards. So you just wanna kinda get a little bit of detailing on there, kinda bring out those textures a bit. And then when you hit it with the wash again, it's going to darken the white, but it's still gonna get into all the grooves and it's gonna make this thing look really nice, I think. So is like, let's say the log is going up this way, right? And the log is going up, so it's getting drug behind like a chain or a rope. So this spot right here is gonna have some wear on it. 
So, more wear than every other spot. Take a little bit of white, and you just kind of want to hit it with some white. I went a little heavy here, and you definitely don't need to go that heavy, but also kind of flare it out the sides. And then also hit this thing with a little bit of wear. You know, it's just the wood's getting kind of torn up over time. That's pretty much all it is. To do is use some black paint and some water that I mixed up into a little container. And I'm sure you've seen this before if you're a fan of the channel. And a lot of people like to paint it on, which that's a fine way of doing it. And it does look good that way. But I just like to kind of use this metal pan and douse whatever I'm using whatever I'm making. It just kind of saves time. <laughs> That's pretty much all it does. Get a more on a shot here. And there you go. I, f I like the paint job. I think it looks good. And now, we're going to attach all the pieces. On Right there. Good. And up a hundred percent perfectly. Oh gosh, this thing looks so cool. This process is kind of hard to show on camera, I apologize. Just got done painting this. I think it looks really good. I'm gonna start using some of the tricks and tips that I did in this into more of my creations. And also just taking a little bit more time into my stuff and really enjoying it some more. Thank you so much if you tuned in the whole way. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later.